So, on my birthday, my wife was gracious enough to let me take a trip out to the Colorado Springs area in search of some trout. And Colin from Fresh Salt Fishing was in the area, so I decided to meet up with him and fish. However, I only had two days, and it was a little under a seven hour drive for me. So I left really early in the morning, actually around 12.30 to be exact, and got there a little after 7 a.m. ready to fish. Well, maybe not all the way ready. I was super tired from getting basically no sleep the night before. And I knew I was going to be lagging a bit. But I was meeting Colin at Angler's Covey around 7.30. And I got there a little early. By the way, Angler's Covey is a really nice fly shop. And if you're ever in the area, I suggest you stop by and check them out. They have a huge selection of rods, reels, gear, and even fly tying materials. So, I actually picked up a whiting cape. Just like that, a black one, for some midges. Well, uh, just a few minutes ago, but great, great little tying uh, section here. So supposedly this is the largest privately owned fly shop in America, at least that's what they told me. So it is big, I mean, it's huge. Um, Colin has just arrived and he is coming in from the car. I got here a little earlier. So this morning, I left at 1 a.m. from my house and got here around 7.15. It's a long drive to get out here. But it's worth it, because we're gonna be fishing 11 mile today, and we're staying the night, and then tomorrow we're gonna be fishing, uh, it was gonna be Decker's, but uh, he suggested to go to the Dream Stream. So that is what we're gonna do. So today is gonna be 11 mile, tomorrow's Dream Stream. And then I gotta leave, because I gotta head home. I'm only staying one night, and it's another seven hour drive. I'm a little tired, if you can't tell, because I was up all night. I got a few flies already, and Colin's gonna get a few as well, and we're about ready to head out. Okay, so I've been to 11 Mile before, but Colin hasn't. So I'm showing him the directions to the stream in case we lose each other on the one hour drive to where we're gonna fish. This drive to the stream is super pretty, but much different than this past winter when I went out. If you remember the last time I fished 11 Mile, I did so in a snowstorm. However, today was a beautiful day, and I was really pumped to get out there and try my hand at this beautiful river once again, even if I was zombified from being up all night. So we decided to dry fly fish the entire day and see if we could hook some fish on top water. Pretty soon in, I got a fish to take my fly. However, I set the hook and snapped the line somehow. Now the fly I was using was a fly I tied for you guys a few weeks ago. It was that stimulator style caddis. All right, I got a retie. Well, I tried there for a while longer, but no luck. That spot was right near the parking lot, so we figured we would search for some less pressured areas. We arrived here, and quite a few good sized fish were in this pool. Colin took the spot right in front of the pool, and I walked around to the side of the pool. And almost right away, Colin got a fish to take his elk hair caddis. Nice fish, Colin. So then Colin tries again, and... Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> I had him. I had him. That was a really good sized fish too. Then Colin hooks up with another one. Man, he's on fire. Now that was a nice trout, especially for taking such a small dry fly like he had.
Nothing better. Watch them swim off. After that, the spot kind of died, and we went further downstream to try our luck elsewhere. The fish were stacked thick in this run here, but we couldn't get them to bite at all, so we moved once again. As we were driving, we saw this spot, and it had a few nice fish. However, it was a pretty steep climb down to get them. So I ended up putting on a hopper, and Colin kept his elk hair caddis. Well, that elk hair caddis worked again. Nice job landing a fish in a difficult spot there, Colin. So we continued fishing that spot, and Colin ended up with another one. But my camera died, so I couldn't film it. I was really tired from not sleeping. And while I don't want to make excuses, I really couldn't fish at 100%. I was making mistakes, and clearly not all the way there. So we went back to the hotel to get some rest. With me hoping tomorrow will be a better day. So I woke up refreshed and ready for an amazing day on the water. We arrived at the Dream Stream, which neither of us had fished before. While the landscape wasn't so dramatic, we heard that the fishing here was great. Again, we started with some dry flies. Me, a large hopper, dropped to a CDC hatchmaster, and we saw this spot had some fish rising to the surface. Now we both were getting fish to rise to our flies, but neither of us had luck hooking any. I mean, they were rising up everywhere, but no luck. So I ended up giving in and putting on a nymph rig, because I really had to hook a fish on this trip. And pretty soon after, I ended up getting a fish on. This was a really deep run, and I was using a small 24 size Black Beauty. Colin there with the assist. What a feisty little fish. And a beautiful release. Well, unfortunately, that was the only fish I had the entire trip, and the only fish any of us had that specific day. My cameras were dying, and both of us had to leave pretty early. I mean, I had a seven hour drive ahead of me, and Colin had to drive all the way back to the East Coast. While it wasn't my most productive trip ever, I still had a great time. There was beautiful scenery, and I did get to see Colin net some really nice trout. Plus, it was really fun hanging out with him. Well, they say the third time's the charm. Maybe on my next trip to 11 Mile, I will end up with a few more fish in the net.